What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some more of my collection and today I'm going to be sharing you with my movie DVD collection. Let's get right into this. <laughs> So for this video, I have quite a few movies that I'm going to be showing you guys that are in my collection, some of which have a specific niche for some of my favorite franchises or superheroes or things like that. Some are just random ones, but are action or comedy or something along those lines. And I'm not showing everything that's in my collection because I have a lot of movies. These are just some of my favorite ones that I decided to showcase because this would have been an incredibly long movie if I showed everything and it was hard to cart all this stuff down into my room here. So let's just get started. Up first is a movie that I think I got some of these during uh, yard sales and things like that. So the first one is King Kong. Now this is a really long movie, I believe, if I can remember correctly. It is three hours long, and it is a really nice story. It actually has, in my opinion, the best King Kong story out of the movies that I've watched, which is why I decided when I seen it to pick it up to add it to my collection. I absolutely love Jack Black, and this movie here, I thought it was a great movie, and it really told the story well. It was just a really long movie. Next is Adam Sandler's Mr. Deeds. And I absolutely love Adam Sandler's first movies that he was in. I think they're a lot of fun. And sticking along Adam Sandler, Big Daddy, which I thought was a hilarious movie. A little bit emotional throughout it, but it is a comedy and I absolutely Adam Sandler in this style of movies. Next up is one of my favorite movies. I had to have watched this probably close to 20 times ever since I owned it. And I've owned this one probably the longest since I was a child, maybe 15 plus years, 15, 20 years maybe. And that is Tommy Boy with David Spade and Chris Farley. It is an amazing movie, well put together. I love the comedy in it. And a lot of the comedy sketches that are in it are memorable. I absolutely love this movie. It's one of my favorites that I remember watching whenever I was young. Next is a little bit of a newer, maybe within the last 10 years. I can't quite remember. I think it was whenever I was in high school it came out. And that is simply Paul. I love the idea. I love these two in the movies. Having Paul and having the whole alien thing in Vegas. I thought that was awesome that they made a comedy out of it. Which is why I decided to pick up Paul. Next is Tropic Thunder. And I know it's not everybody's favorite movie. But I liked it as a comedy. I was always into war movies. So whenever I purchased it, I didn't know what I was purchasing. But to have Jack Black, Ben Stiller, and everybody that's in this movie, I thought it was a really funny movie. I really enjoyed it. Next up is Cop Outs. And I absolutely love cop movies. I love comedies, as you guys can tell, but I do love action. I love cop movies. So this is one that I have that I absolutely love. I also have one with Martin Lawrence, and that is National Security. And this is more of a comedy as opposed to a cop action movie. So was Cop Out. It's a comedy as well, I find. But this one here is more comedy for it, of course. Martin Lawrence is the best comedian, in my opinion. I absolutely love him. Next up is Ride Along with Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. I absolutely love this movie. I really want to get Ride Along too. I never even watched it, I don't believe. So it'd be really nice to have that one as well. So those were kind of my odds and ends. Now I'm going to be going over to my superhero collection. Up first, the only Blu-ray that I own, and that is for Iron Man 2. Normally, as you guys could tell, I'm going to stick with more of the regular DVDs. That's just what I like in my collection. That way, they're all the same size, that type of thing. But this here, Iron Man 2, this was only a dollar at a yard sale. I don't have any of the Iron Man movies, so I decided to pick this one up for a dollar. You can't really beat that. Next is one I recently picked up in a store, and it was only $10, and that was Venom. The reason why I decided to buy this new as opposed to waiting till I found a used copy is Venom is one of my favorite movies that I've watched for superheroes recently, and I've watched this movie two or three times now, and it never gets old. I absolutely love the movie, and I can't wait for Venom 2, so this is definitely one that I had to pick up. Next, a few of these are ones that I picked up in yard sales. So the next two are, and that is The Dark Knight 
and the Dark Knight Rises. I absolutely love this Batman. I'm not really into some of the Batman and some of the newer Batman movies. I'm not really a fan of them. It depends on who's playing Batman. These ones here, I think the actor who played Batman was amazing. Of course, it has, in my opinion, the best Joker in all of the Batman movies in it. So I thought they were great. Next is Deadpool. One of my favorite superheroes. I've talked about this before in different videos. I absolutely love Deadpool. I recently, me and my girlfriend, watched Deadpool 2 for about the third time. So I really want to add Deadpool 2 to my collection. But Deadpool, I have the first one for my collection. Next is The Incredible Hulk. When I seen this in the yard sale, I decided I had to pick it up. I can't quite remember how much I paid for it, but this is before The Incredible Hulk got recasted, and it's the only one in the Marvel MCU that is a solo Incredible Hulk movie, which I thought was pretty interesting. Next, I have more movies, and I think I'm going to start with these ones here. These ones are my favorite franchises, which I own all of the movies in the franchise. So up first is one of my favorite movies growing up, and that is Jurassic Park. This is the first three movie collection before the newer movies started to come out. I purchased this here at Walmart. I think it was only 15 bucks, so basically five bucks a movie. I love the design of the sleeve cover here, which I thought was great, and I decided for only $15, why not? It's a movie I absolutely love. I love the whole Jurassic Park franchise, so I picked that up, and then once the new ones started to come out, Jurassic World, and then Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I decided I had to get these ones as well. And I did buy them brand new, but I think I bought them around Black Friday. So they're only about $10 each, shortly within a year after they each were released. So I decided to pick them up. I absolutely love the newer Jurassic Park movies, but I love all of them in the franchise. Next is one of my favorite franchises of all time. I really like the original ones, the first movies in it. The newer ones are great still because of all the cast members, but I like the original ones for what it meant and the reason behind them. And that is The Fast and the Furious. This here, before they started to make all of the movies that they did, this is the first four movies in a collection set here. Now I know they do have a full 8 collection set as well, but I bought the 4 one years ago, which I think was maybe $20 at the time, so that's again $4 a movie, that's the way I bro broke it down. And then after that I was only purchasing the movies whenever I seen them in the stores, so within a year after they were released I would get them for about $10 to $15 each. So I have Fast 5, Fast and Furious 6. Furious 7, and then Fates of the Furious F8. I absolutely love the franchise, and no, I do not have Hobbs and Shaw. I don't even believe I watched it yet, and I know there is going to be a Fast and Furious 9, and I can't wait to see that. That looks like it's going to be awesome. Hopefully Han is going to be in it. That's the leaked stuff that I've seen. But also there's going to be a Hobbs and Shaw 2 movie that has been announced, so it's going to be interesting. I might have to watch the first one to make sure it's something that I want to get into and maybe add them to my collection. I'm just not sure because they are technically spin-offs, not part of the actual franchise. So I do have some more movies left here. These are the end stack. So up first is a movie growing up that I loved because it was something that boys could just watch and it was amazing. It was fun. It was dangerous. It was sometimes gross. And that is the Jackass movies. Growing up, I absolutely loved these movies. They were probably not the greatest growing up movies to watch, but they were also a lot of fun. And I actually wanted to attempt some stunts and be kind of like a Jackass guy, but never did that. I'm not really a daredevil or anything. So the first Jackass movie, then we have Jackass. I don't have these in order. Jackass 2. Jackass 2.5, so this here is basically an extended version of 2. Basically, whenever they filmed Jackass 2, they had so many more stunts that they wanted to add, but it was going to be way too long of a movie. So they came out with a DVD for 2.5. It never went to theaters. And it's more of a documentary and behind the scenes of them recording as well. Then we have Jackass 3, which was also in 3D in the movie theaters. And this is the last Jackass movie that hit the theaters. And then, of course, the same thing as Jackass 
2, there is a 3.5 that came to DVD that is an extended version. Now with Jackass, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but the guys are older now. However, they do, and I think they did announce that they're going to be doing a Jackass 4 within the next two years. And I'm excited to see that kind of ending everything that they've done before. So I can't wait to see what they're going to do. And next, the rest of these are basically movies that I have one DVD for, but it's like a four DVD, four movies on one DVD type thing. So up first is four scary movies. Now, I don't like horror movies. I have explained that before. They're not just, they're just not really my cup of tea. It's not that I'm scared about them. It's that I just don't find them entertaining. I do not like them at all. But the scary movie ones, they take horror and they bring a comedy aspect to it. It's all for laughs. So I seen that for a couple bucks at a yard sale. I decided to pick that up. Next is the Rush Hour Trilogy, and I'm so happy that they have recently announced that there's going to be a fourth movie going to be in the works, and I can't wait to check that one out. That one is going to be awesome. I love that franchise. Next is a superhero movie, but I wanted to include it in the five movie collection like the rest of these ones are right now instead of my superhero stack, and that is the Spider-Man 5 movies. We have the original three movies that came out in the mid or in the early to mid 2000s and then we have amazing spider-man 1 and 2 now i know amazing spider-man i've watched them they're not necessarily the greatest but to get this in a collection set i thought it was pretty awesome now the only thing that i'm missing from my spider-man collection is the past two movies with tom Holland. that's what i'm going to be really looking for in the stores hopefully for cheap because some of them want the first one came out years ago now next is a pretty beat up box, but it is for Ghostbusters 1 and 2. This is, I can't remember when it came out. Um, I don't even think I looked it up. It doesn't, doesn't really say here when this set came out, but I got it at a yard sale and you can see there is damage. This is the only one that's damaged anywhere out of everything that's in my collection. But for this one here, a couple bucks having the Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I decided why not pick it up? That's very interesting. And my girlfriend has yet to see Ghostbusters. So I'm going to bring this one day and she is going to watch them because she's going to have a blast. I absolutely love Ghostbusters. Narrowing down the end of my collection here. Recently, I picked this one up at a Shoppers Drug Mart for, I think, 10 bucks or... Actually, I think this one was $6, and I decided to pick it up for that price. And that is the Men in Black Trilogy. Now, I didn't realize that Walmart sells the four-movie pack with the last one that came out. I can't remember when it came out, but with the last one that came out, and it's $15, but I got the Trilogy, trilogy for $6. I decided to pick that up. These movies here were amazing. They're awesome. And I hear that there might be talks of a fifth movie in the future, but I still have to watch the fourth movie and put that in my collection as well. But I absolutely love Men in Black. Recently picked that one up. And the last movie that I'm going to be sharing today is another five movie collection. And that is for one of my favorite franchises as well, Transformers. Now I have watched Bumblebee, which I don't have my collection. In my opinion, it's not necessarily the greatest, but these movies here, the first five movies in the Transformers movies franchise, I felt was awesome. It's just sad to know that they're not going to be doing the Transformers movies moving forward. They have come to terms with it's not something that they really want to produce any more of right now. And since Hasbro owns the rights to them, they have no intent of making movies right now. Maybe in the future, there was rumors there was supposed to be a Transformers versus G.I. Joe movie. That would have been awesome, but they scrapped it and they scrapped the whole franchise for now. But I absolutely love these movies. I think this one here was, in my opinion, the hardest to find the five movie set because Walmart was sold out, Amazon was sold out, eBay didn't have any copies for cheap. Everything that I found was around $40 for it. I finally managed to pick this up at Walmart for $11 whenever it was back in stock. And it took months for them to get it back in stock. But these are all of my movies or my favorite movies that are in my collection. I do have some more that are odd and ends. Some not great movies and some that are just so random there was no point of including them because this already is a really long video, longer than some of mine where I share my collection, so I didn't need to make it any longer with boring movies and sharing boring things that I don't really enjoy that are in my collection. These are the top ones that are in my collection. So comment down below out of the movies that I just shared, what is your favorite that is in my collection? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.